So unfortunately, too many people look at just price, price, price. They aren't paying attention to the things going on behind the scenes. You know, when we look at Shiba Inu price right now, we're, we're having another good day. We're actually following this move that I talked about, this, this throwback to our break box. We're looking good right now, and hopefully this continues. But there's something I've been noticing behind the scenes that really a lot of people are not paying attention to. And again, this is a big reason why I think that SHIB is going to take a next big leg very, very soon. And it has to do with the supply. It has to do with the supply of SHIB Inu, has to do with the supply of BTC. So SHIB Inu supply, as far as what's on exchanges, has been diminishing. It's been diminishing for quite some time. Yes, there'll be little ebbs and flows where you might bounce, you know, one trillion one way or the other. But when you look at the overall trend, it's declining. And this has even been taking place while Shiba Inu price has been trading sideways, right? Well, look at this, this period right here. And you're like, oh my gosh, price isn't doing anything. It's not going anywhere. But yet you have all this supply being removed, removed, removed from exchanges. Now, why that's important is the next time you have this big slap of liquidity, right? This big onboarding of users, hopefully that wasn't too loud for people. It, it makes a difference because all this upside liquidity, all this SHIB that you're trying to basically fight through to get to the upside, it starts to go away. It makes it easier to move to the upside. Now, where this gets very exciting is in terms of BTC as well, right? When we look at where BTC is at right now, it looks like it's basically just been in chop for the same period of time, right? Since early March, mostly sideways trading. We obviously got our rejection here. But what's been happening during this time is significant amounts of BTC have been removed from exchanges in a, a much, much accelerated way. For example, over the last two weeks, we've talked about institutional money. We've talked that about the fact that they've added about $2 billion worth of BTC to their portfolios. And now you have basically $2 billion worth of BTC that is removed from exchanges, self you know, custodied by these institutional investors. And frankly, most of that is not going to enter the space for a very long period of time, especially the deeper, deeper round we get into this bull run, right? And the thing is, is this is only going to get worse as there is more institutional money that flows into the space and they eat up more of the supply. It's removed for the long haul, right? They're not an entity that can just basically dump on everybody's head everything they have because the BTC is the asset that is the underlying asset that backs these spot ETFs. The spot ETF value would have to go down significantly. All right. That's where this gets really, really crazy and starts to snowball very, very quickly. And I think a lot of people, they're not. They're not paying attention to the impact that this is going to have on the market. All right. I've been, you know, on record saying that BTC probably end up somewhere in that 125K range uh, in terms of price by the end of this market cycle. Would not surprise me if it's significantly higher. And the reason why I say that is again, don't don't ignore supply and demand, right? The demand for BTC and the demand for crypto assets in general is climbing. It's climbing at a very accelerated rate. And the supply that's available is diminishing at an accelerated rate. We're seeing the same thing take place in terms of Shiba Inu, right? Shiba Inu has heavy optics. We know that a lot of people that are getting into the market for the first time are in fact looking at Shiba Inu. They're onboarding into SHIB. It's a reason why SHIB holders have continued to increase. Even through this bear market cycle, we've added about 20% new holders, which is very exciting for a coin that's now, you know, that's one of the top 10 coins in all of crypto. It's got, you know, a $15 billion market cap. That's a big deal. It's hard to move the needle. It's not as hard to move the needle when there's not much supply to go around. That's where this long-term mindset comes into play. That's where this supply that is diminishing comes into play. You know, I've seen people still to this day say, oh yeah, the supply is too big. And they, people don't understand liquidity, right? You could have, you know, 600 well, we'll say 600 trillion in supply out in the market, right? But, you know, if there's only 150 trillion on exchanges and even of that, only 20 trillion are available for sale, price can move a lot faster. I don't know why I have to explain this so many times. I don't know why people aren't understanding that, but that's the reason why people, I think, frankly, are going to miss out on something like SHIB as we get deeper into this market cycle. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think that that next slap of, of onboarding and adoption is going to be coming very soon. So appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.